Cleaning your Aqualab CX2 block is a simple procedure and should only take about 10 minutes. You will need isopropyl alcohol, Decagon's cleaning solution or distilled water, and chem wipes and cleaning rods. Start by removing the eight case screws located here and here. After you remove the screws, you can take the lid off of the CX2. Next, remove the four screws securing the sensor block. It is not necessary to disconnect any of the wire connectors at the back of the sensor block. If you do, make sure to note which wire goes to which connector as two of the connectors are the same size. Do not lose the rubber o-ring and steel washer on each screw. Remove the top piece of the sensor block to expose the mirror surface. Be careful not to break any of the fan blades. The mirror is the square stainless steel piece in the center of the bottom half of the block. The mirror should be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol, Decagon's cleaning solution, or distilled water, and a dry clean chem wipe. All cleanings should use this three-step cleaning procedure, although only one application is illustrated in this video. Rejoin the block lid with the rest of the block. Now remove the whole block. The next area you will need to clean is the infrared sensor on the underside. The infrared sensor is the black lens surrounded by the chrome ring. It is important to have this sensor lens clean from all dirt, smudges, and lint. Finally, clean the rest of the bottom of the sensor block. Be sure to remove any and all residue of sample contamination, especially where the cup seals against the sensor block. Finally, reassemble the sensor block on the drawer base. Tighten the four screws, making sure not to put too much pressure on the rubber o-rings. They need to be tight, but not too tight. If the drawer slide sticks, then you have over-tightened the screws. When you are finished, replace the lid and all eight screws. You are now ready to verify the calibration and sample.